Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you are new, welcome back to all my returning subscribers. So in this video is gonna be a little bit different. I know that I'm always showing you guys how to create custom cups, how to create custom shirts, um, you know, doing Timu hauls and all that stuff. But I wanted to do something different today because I did create a KDP journal um, recently and I showed on my reels and shorts that, you know, you can actually make a side hustle off of this. And everyone was asking me, how did I do it? If I can show the steps. So even though I did the reels um, explaining the steps, I know a lot of people are more hands-on visual learners. So I wanted to create a quick video showing you guys step-by-step. Step. So this is one of the books that I created already so far. I'm on to my second notebook. I'll show you guys that after this one. So I wanted to do like a little flower theme daily journal notebook. So this is the front cover and this is my back cover, something very simple. And then this is actually the page for inside. So I have a hundred page daily journal already published on my KDP um, account and creating a KDP account. It's free, absolutely free. Creating a journal is free using Canva. Now there's some options that you would need to have the Canva Pro, but if you don't want to have the Canva Pro, they have tons of free options on journal templates for you to choose from. So right here, I just created a flower themed daily journal page. This is a line journal and I just added some flowers to it. You can always play around with the colors and all that stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and X this out. This is the new book that I'm working on right here. Um, I'm creating a weekly planner for, you know, individuals who need to have a set schedule planner for them. Like, for example, myself, I'm always all over the place if I don't have a set week, you know, of things that I'm supposed to be doing for the week. So we're going to go ahead and create a design and you can create a custom size or you can go by whatever templates Canva has for you. But my first journal that I published was a seven by 10. So you just want to go ahead and make sure that this right here is set to inches and you can do height 10 with seven. I do have it saved, but I'm going to go ahead and do it manually so you guys can see. So once that's done, we're going to go ahead and look at some templates that we're going to be choosing. And this is just an example. I'm not going to publish this specific book that I'm showing you guys. I just wanted to show you guys step by step that you can be able to create this yourself and, you know, make a side hustle out of this. So we're going to go ahead and click on journal templates. Okay, let's say you want to choose this one right here. You can actually leave it like this. You can create um, your very own. So you can have a background change. You can, let's say you want to use this right here. Let's say we want to use it like this, right? And we want to change this to black. Okay, and let's say you want to, you can leave that butterfly. You can click on elements and you can search more butterflies. You can minimize this right here. You can put this on the corner. You can choose these. Let's say you want to remove this butterfly right here. You can actually take that out. Put this one right here. Right? Um, let's say you want to search up boss babe, boss girl. You can add her if you want, or if you want something more simple. Let's say you want a transparent one, you can add this one right here, right? Let's say you wanna take this butterfly out and just add her right here, you can. You can duplicate this. If you want colored butterflies, you can do colored butterflies. So I'm just giving you some examples. You can actually create this however you want. Let's say you want to remove this 
and you want to add the butterflies over here like that, you can, right? Let's say you want to leave it like that. You want to go ahead and create the back cover. You can, so wait, let's go ahead and remove this right here. So we're going to add a page, okay? And let's say you want to look for an inspirational quote. And they have so many different ones to choose from. So you can just create anything you want, motivational quotes. Right? You can enlarge that, put it right here. And then we're going to go ahead and save it as a PNG. And once you have your front cover and back cover set and you have it saved, you want to go ahead and work on the inside of the book. So you want to go ahead and create line journals, right? So we're going to go ahead, go back to home, create design again, same size. And then you can search up line journal. And they have different options to choose from again. So let's say you want to go with this. And you can add your elements to it. So if you want to add more butterflies on it, you can. And it could be the, the same theme going on over here. So let's say you want to take this on. The good thing about this is... Canva lets you edit, so you can edit to however you like. You can leave it if you like the same design that the template has for you. Save you some time, you can leave it like that. We're gonna go ahead and switch this up to black. I'm not sure why it's doing it one by one. But we're going to go ahead and leave it like that. The notes option, you can switch up the font as well. So you can switch it up to whatever font you want. So let's say you want to leave it like that. You want to switch it to pink, you can. I'm trying to see why. Let's see if I do it like this, if it lets me. Okay, now. So let's say you have it like that. Boom. You, go, you can add pages by clicking here, or you can click on grid view and duplicate the page, or you can add the page here too. So we're just gonna go ahead and just click on duplicate. And you wanna have at least 72 to 100 pages so that when you download it to the website I'm gonna show you, you don't have any issues. Okay. Once you have it all there, you're going to go ahead and click on share. Click on download. And you want to make sure that you have it saved as PDF for printing. Right. So now you have created the pages for your journal. You created the cover, front and back. Now that that's saved, we're going to go ahead and click on, you want to go ahead and search Amazon KDP cover size calculator, right? And then once that's there, you're going to go ahead and click on it. It's going to open a new page for you. You're going to select paperback because that's the type of book that we're doing. And you can leave. You can leave it on black and white, but what's going to happen is it's not going to show the colors that you added to your pages and your cover. So we're going to go ahead and put standard color, paper type white. We're going to leave it on left to right, the page turn direction. Measurement units, you're going to leave it on inches. The interior trim size, we're doing 7 by 10. And the page count is 100 pages. Now we're going to go ahead and calculate the dimension.
So we're going to use this size right here. So 14.475. For the width and then for the height it was 10.250 so now that it has the template already for me we're just going to go ahead and upload the paperback template that we just saved so we're going to click on upload and we're going to upload the paperback template that we just created Okay, so now, so now that we have it here, we're going to go ahead and just delete all of these things that's on here. Because if you don't, what's going to happen is it is going to print just like this. And you're going to see all of this if you don't delete it. So once everything has been deleted, we're going to go ahead and upload our cover. So this is going to be the back of the book. So it's going to be the back cover first. And you want to make sure that you line it up as perfect as possible because once you print it out, that's how it's going to look, however you lined it up. And now we're going to upload the front cover. go ahead and click on share you're going to download this once you're finished and then now the next step is going to the KDP website okay so we're going to go ahead and go to the KDP website and KDP is just Amazon Kindle direct publishing um, that's what that stands for. So now we're going to go ahead and I'm going to be deleting this. I was trying to record showing you guys how to do a different type of planner, but for some reason it was giving me a hard time. So this is actually my second time recording for you guys. So we're going to click on create. We're going to make sure that we select paperback option. And then your title can be whatever title you want it to be. So we can just click on daily journal, daily boss babe journal. Subtitle, leave blank. This part, you don't have to mess with it. You can leave this part blank as well. You want to make sure you put your name because you are the author of the book that you just created. And if you have any contributors who helped you with the book, you can also put them as well. For the description, you can always go on Amazon and look at some books that inspire you and just switch up the name so we can do Daily Boss Babe Paperback Journal because that's what it is. And as you can see, look, I give you 99% of the time, half of these people on here created these journals using Canva, okay? And this is a great side hustle because you don't have to have any of the books on hand. Amazon is going to print out and ship the books to your customers. They charge a small fee for each time they print out and ship. Um, the with Each time they print it out, they're going to charge you. But that's nothing compared to the profit that you're going to be making for something that you created for free on Canva. Just see how they use their description, right? So it's, I love to journal my days and I decided to create this journal with daily prayer, et cetera, et cetera. So you can look, just write something similar. It doesn't have to be the same thing. You can also use AI to help you generate a description if you chose to. You can also use AI to help you generate your cover, your pages, like, Canva also has AI option there now too. So we're going to go ahead and, and put um, bring your creativity to life by jotting down a 
your plans or just taking time to write down what's on your mind. Right, and you can just go on and on and on, or you can just leave it simple like that. Um, so you're going to go here and put, I own the copyright and I hold necessary publishing rights because you created the book. Um, this question right here, you're going to go ahead and put no. Okay, and then right here, you want to make sure it's always on amazon.com because these are for different countries. Category, you're going to select your category. So in this case, it's a journal. So you want to scroll down to where it says self-help, journal writing, save categories. And then you want to click on low content because it's a journal, you know, slash notebook, planner, etc. You can use keywords to jumpstart and help you with your sales, or you can just leave it like that. And then as far as this part right here, you leave the option there. We're going to go ahead and save and continue. And then we're going to leave this right here, publish without an ISBN. You can leave it at black and white, but what's going to happen is your cover and your uh, pages won't show that the colors that you put, um, did on Canva. So you're going to go ahead and click on standard color interior so that it can have color. We gotta make sure that we switch the size to the seven by 10. You're gonna leave it on no bleed. And I have my first published book set to glossy. So we're just gonna go with that, but you can leave it matte as well. Now, right here, you're gonna go ahead and upload your journal pages. Okay, so once you have successfully uploaded your interior, which is your cover pages, and then the book cover itself, mine is still downloading. Sometimes it takes a while to download, but once that's done, you're going to go ahead and right here where it says AI generated content. If any of your um, cover book or pages or description, any of that stuff was created using AI, you want to go ahead and select yes. Um, in this case, I didn't use AI, so I'm going to select no. Go ahead and launch it. So we can go ahead and preview how it looks before we go ahead and go to the pricing. Okay, so once it takes you to the print previewer, it's going to show you if you have any errors that you need to fix, that maybe you have to go back to Canva, right? It's gonna, where it says quality check, it will tell you if you have any error in, in any pages and it will let you know which pages exactly. So as you can see, the cover is good. There's no errors. And then when you click the arrow, there's no errors on this page. There was an error before, but I had to go back to Canva because it was telling me that the butterflies was too big. I'm guessing over here in this section, the way I had it before. So I just minimized it a little bit on Canva, resaved it as a PDF, um, re-uploaded it to the KDP, and then did the pre print previewer checker again, and now it's good to go. So then once you see that it's good to go, you're going to go ahead and click on approve. So that way, the next step is going to take you to the pricing okay so once that's done it's gonna download it's gonna upload sorry to the next page then you're just gonna scroll right back down and this is going to be how much amazon is going to charge you per printing cost okay and then as you can see here it has different pricings for the different countries so you're going to go ahead and click on save and continue and then once that's done let me go ahead and check this really quick. So once this is done, it's going to allow you to do your own pricing and it gives you an estimate on how much you can price it. 
So right now, so it says minimum is at least eight dollars and sixty-seven cents, and you can do you can do maximum up to two hundred and fifty dollars. So let's say you want to do twelve ninety-nine. Remember that they're going to charge you that five and some change per printing cost. So you will receive about two dollars and fifty-nine cents per book. Let's say if you do nine ninety-nine. You get seventy nine cents per book. Okay, so you just have to play around with the prices. I actually have to up my price as well because right now I have it at nine dollars and ninety nine cents. So the royalty, if you click, this is an estimate of how much you earn for each sale based on the list price, royalty rate, and deducted print cost. Okay, so don't be afraid to play with your prices. If let's say you want to price it at twenty dollars your royalty price would be $6.80. Okay, so remember, you can have more than one book on your KDP website. So you can have a range from like journals to planners to content, um, you know, niches. And then you can also have like coloring books, um, prayer books, inspirational quotes, all that stuff. Like you can have different varieties. You can just look on Amazon and see what others have and go by that. You can also follow um you know influencers on instagram and tiktok and all that stuff that do this type of niche and see what they are selling and how you know which ones are ranking the most and then you can go by that as well so let's say you want to leave it like that you're going to scroll down and you can request a proof they are going to charge you for the printout and um of course you know if there's any shipping or whatever you're going to pay for that too but i highly recommend that you have your own um book proof so that you can be able to have content with it and showcase it as well so once you're done you're going to go ahead here and click on publish your payback paperback book and then it's going to take like a few days for them to review everything make sure everything is good to go before they publish it onto amazon and then there you have it guys so you are an author of your very own kdp journal planner all that stuff your very own paperback book and you can also create it as an ebook for those who just want it digital really quick don't want to wait for it to be shipped out to them you can do a digital um ebook as well all right so i hope you guys enjoyed this video on me sharing a good gem on how you can make extra income as a side hustle or full-time income from home on something that you did not have to pay for using canva and of course like i said you get charged for um the printouts that amazon has to print out your paperback book of course but just look at it as you're going to be making profit and this is something that it's going to be just there forever right you can always um put multiple books onto your kdp account okay so thank you all for watching like i said if you like this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i see you all in my next one